Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. I was not expecting to make this recording, but we just got ourselves a dunce and taking a look at the Slayer XP. With this random, I will be able to get myself 37 Slayer. So let's quickly smash our way through this and we'll use it on Slayer and get ourselves another level. And that should be the random completed. Let's get ourselves out of here. Go ahead, put this on the Slayer. It's going to be another level at level 37. That's three more levels until I can get the, uh, until I can use my other rewards on it, which is going to be really nice. We can now kill kilowatts, uh, well, we can't because we cannot access them. But still, 37 Slayer. Nice. So I just completely missed the level, but that is 94 range right here. We are five levels away from 99, which is really cool. Uh, we've been going out the frogs for a while, uh, for the whole week. We've got nearly 8.4k nature runes, and we've got about 6k arrows, which is really cool. So we're going to carry on with this, and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so this is going to wrap it up for another week of Killing Frogs. We have got ourselves a juicy stack of 8,543 nature runes. Still got 3,000 arrows left, but I'm going to be having to drop these because I am doing Saratness in about 15 minutes. So we're going to be dropping them, but it's fine. It's only a few more arrows. I don't mind dropping the rest of the leftover. As long as I get below 10,000, I'm generally quite happy. As you saw in the previous clip, I believe it was uh, that I would have got 94 ranged. Five more levels until 99 and I'm just grinding this out. I think we might get 95 um, before finishing all the natures because I'm going to need to come back here in the next week and collect another 1.5k, which I will be able to do after this weekend of Seraclis. I can easily get 1.5k in a week. At the moment, I think I'm getting about 1.8k or so, so it should be quite nice. And then we'll finally hit 10,000 nature runes and we will be able to move on to smithing. Um, I know I've mentioned this before. But the stack of Mithril Ore is getting to the point where I'm probably going to have to come back and get more nature runes in the future. Hopefully not, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, not entirely sure what I want to do right now, but I do. I am set on getting 10,000 nature runes and then at least making my way through all of this. Because at least if I can just get rid of this stack, I'm going to feel so much better about it. Anyway, we're going to head off to Seratnus. I need to get myself geared up. And hopefully we can actually get ourselves a cudgel this weekend. Probably not. The next clip you see is probably going to be me smashing my desk from a D-Med, or it may just be another 50 kills done. And here is the moment I plant the last Qualm Seed on this account, unless we get some more from Seratnus. We have no more Qualm Seeds. We check our seed box, we've got an empty space now. Kind of either hoping I get the Cudgel or I get some more Qualms, because I don't really want to be doing this without Super Strength Potions. Quams! Oh, we can restock the pile. I mean, only a little bit, but still, that is very relieving to know that I've got some more quams. I mean, I was recording the end of this kill, but that's 94 strength. Did we get the... no. Why did I even start saying that sentence? We did not get the cudgel on the same kill as we get 94 strength. Another strength level adds Seracnus. We have five levels until 99, just like the range levels. Hopefully, we don't get this one anytime soon. Ooh, that is 10,000 Cosmics. A little bit of a uh, flex. Doesn't really do anything for me, but I think it looks pretty cool. 10,000 Cosmics. And that's going to be a 1,000 Emeralds as well. Another addition to the lovely collections that we have going on. Alright, so that is going to be another 50 kills done on the 50th kill. That's not a cudgel once again. 1650 kills we have completed here. Gonna walk out of here. Uh, no D-Meds this week, which can be good or bad. Depends on how you want to look at it. Um, the bright side is though, even if we didn't get the cudgel again, we are only 1.5k natures away from 10,000. And I will be able to do that this week with uh, some help of some big frogs. So we're going to get right on that. Another week, another load of frogs to kill. You guys should know the drill by now. Just gonna, I've made the uh, magic shortbow. I'm gonna get myself the arrows. And happily, I will get the last of the 10,000 nature runes this week. So we're gonna head over and do that. And once we finish with that, we can finally stop killing frogs, which is always gonna be nice. 
and we can work on smithing. So let's get all this done, get ourselves the arrows, and off we go. That's a nice surprise of a level. That is going to be 91 hit points, and also gives us 1625 total level. Didn't see that one coming while I was killing frogs. And that's going to be the last of the nature runes. That is 10,000 nature runes acquired. I do kind of want to stay here, though, uh, at least until I finish off these arrows, because I'm going to be doing Serachnus tomorrow anyway. So I feel like I might as well just get a few more nature runes, just use up these arrows. Uh, but as of right now, we have 10,000. I will not need to camp frogs anymore, which is always going to be really nice, because I don't really like standing here killing these for weeks on end. 10,000 nature runes has officially been acquired. God bless. Okay, this is probably going to be our last frog that we kill. We've got five arrows left. Four, three, two, one. Am I actually going to run out of arrows? That's a little bit disappointing. I'm going to quickly grab these so we can finish off this kill. I was hoping I could do it in five arrows, but anyway. Uh, we'll finish off this kill. And this is the last frog we're going to be killing. I'm a little bit gutted because we are only 7k away from 95 range. But I will inevitably get that at some point. We finished off with 10,213 nature runes. Which is a lovely, lovely stack. We're going to put them, drop that, eat the kebab, why not? Uh, get ourselves fully healed. And then we're going to move on and make our way back to the giant spider who refuses to give me a cudgel. Let's go. Apparently just casually getting 85 cooking, making sharks. That's five levels we have gained in cooking from killing Sorachnus for the last five months. Why not just get 99 at this point? Are oh, you kidding? Right, so basically, uh, I wasn't going to record this, but this drop I've had four times now. Four times from Seratnus in 1,686 kills. It's a 1 in 2,950 drop rate. Why am I getting it? I don't normally complain about these things, but I just don't understand what RNG I have at the moment. It's completely obscure. Hey, just give me the cudgel. So here we are for another episode's worth of Seratnus kills, which are probably cudgelless. The last kill. Mithril ore, I mean, I guess that's good for the next grind that I'm doing anyway. We currently have 5,664 Mithril ore, which we will be working on fairly soon. Uh, I did get the 10,000 natures, as before, if you didn't notice. And um, we're going to be doing some smithing with this, so I can finally take a big uh, dig into this massive stack here. I want to get it all done. I sincerely doubt I'll get it done in a week, because it's fairly slow to use. But if I can just chip down this stack as much as I possibly can, I'm going to be very happy with that. However, we are done with Seratnus for the week. It's 1,700 kills, and I'm still dry. I'm very upset with this. Anyway, off to smithing. Okay, so that finishes up another week of Seratnus, putting us to 1,700 kills, and still without the cudgel. However, we will not be going back to frogs this week. Uh, I have finished the 10,000 atriums, as I keep mentioning, which means we now get to actually variate our content a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do some smithing, but to do that, I need to prepare a few things first. Number one is I need to death storage. I cannot do smithing with this kind of inventory. It is going to be absolutely painful, and there's like no chance of me dying doing uh, coal mining and smithing anyway, so I'm not too worried about losing my stuff. Number two is I need to go and get myself a pickaxe, which I'll be doing before I death storage, and that way I don't have to keep taking my coins out. Uh, we're going to go up here, we're going to grab a hammer from the general store, we're going to grab a pickaxe, which therefore will be um, in the death storage when I die. So I can go back to grab the pickaxe, hammer, nature runes, some of fire, and then maybe the dragon more hammer, just so I have it on me just in case. Um, and then I can go ahead and do some mining and smithing. So I'm going to head over, going to get myself those tools, and I'll probably see you at Haspori. Alright, time to go get myself murdered by Hespori. Uh, I came to the realisation that in the previous clip I said I might take the Dragon Warhammer out, but I've realised there's absolutely no point because I'm going to be equipping the Rune Pickaxe anyway. So I'm just going to leave the Dragon Warhammer in the death storage. Like I said, there's no realistic way that I can die while doing this, so I don't think there's any risk whatsoever. But we're going to get ourselves killed by Hespori. Shouldn't actually lose anything that I was not intended. Uh, we're going to dice this and then we'll come back, grab the Pickaxe, the Tome and a few other items. And we have returned to the farming guild. Let's go ahead and collect with Arno. Gonna pay the money, unlock the coffer. Right, so what do we need for this? We need the pickaxe, we need the hammer, 
and we need the tome. They are the main three things that I need. I can equip both of these. Um, I'm also going to need naturins, so we'll take them. And I think that's everything that I desperately need. I'm going to take the Xerox amulet as well, the Xerox talisman, whatever. Um, am I missing an item? I feel like I'm missing something here. I guess not. Normally the extra space would just be the unfinished bolts, right? That must be what I'm thinking I'm missing. Because I'm, I'm used to having 25 event spaces rather than the 26 that I have right now. I think it's just the uh, the unfinished bolts that would normally go here. And that's why I thought of that. Um, yeah, I believe that's everything. So we are going to head over to uh, Zerk's Heart. And we are going to get working on some smithing. This is going to be a long grind. Alright, I am beyond stupid. Um, I did forget something. I completely and utterly forgot to grab the Mithril Ore. I don't know what's going on in my brain, but yeah. Anyway, back to do some smithing with the correct inventory this time. Okay, so I've done a little bit of maths, uh, done a few calculations, and I've worked it out that this uh, smithing grind is going to take me approximately 90 hours, and that's just to use up the Mithril Ore. In addition, I need to get 72 smithing at some point, which I'm going to be doing with uh, Shazian sets in the future. And that means that's even more time that this is going to take me. So it's probably like a 130 hour grind, if I had to guess. Uh, not entirely sure. But yeah, this is quite a slow method. It's about 5k XP an hour. So, um, I know I know other people have done a lot longer grinds. Uh, so don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say this is the slowest way to train smithing, but it's definitely a lot slower than I originally anticipated, thinking that I had, you know, all the noted mithril ore, and that was going to help it out. It does help it out, because obviously I don't have to go and mine the mithril ore over here. Uh, I don't really want to stop and think of how slow that would be. Please stop giving me gems, it's really annoying. Um, yeah, I don't want to think of how slow that would be, but honestly, um, this is going to be quite a grind. I'm probably going to be doing this for the next couple of weeks. We'll just have to see. Just snuck our way in with 72 mining. I can now mine absolutely nothing because I don't have access to this stuff. Cool. So as I said in a previous clip, this is a very slow method to train smithing. I currently average around 4 to 5k XP an hour, and that is assuming that I'm actually paying full attention, which majority of the time I'm not. And also to take into consideration that on Saturdays and Sundays I will be killing Seracnus. It is going to hinder my XP rates massively. Um, I could get about 60 or so mithril bars done an hour, which means to get through this uh, stack is going to take me about 90 hours. I think I originally said that. Uh, I'd agree with that right now. About 90 hours worth of mining and smithing. Um, and given that I could probably do about 6 hours a day, you can see how badly this is going. Um, it's going to take about 3 weeks, I think, to get all of this done. So it's going to be annoying. It's going to be quite a long grind in terms of video footage. I do apologize for that, but it is nice that we are finally making some progress on the account. And one of the big things I want to highlight with this is the amount of mithril bolts we are going to have by the end of this. So we currently have, um, oh, I don't know how many I've got. I think I've got like 16,000 in the death storage. I've just realized it's stored at the moment. Uh, plus these here. So we've got about 20,000 um, bolts already. And you've got to times this by 10. So another 53,240 to go so that's like 75,000 or so bolts it's going to be insane when i get around to killing red dragons and on top of that if you guys didn't notice when i was doing the death storage i also have nearly 2,000 red dragon hide already so the grind uh, that i'm gonna have to do for crafting has been significantly reduced in a way thanks to seracnus i mean i wouldn't necessarily say thanks because i think in the long run it would have been much better just to get the cudgel and just grind out everything else individually um, and not make all of these bolts, but I'm trying to utilize all the supplies I get. Nonetheless, this is where we are at, and I'm going to be spending the next three weeks working on smithing, pretty much. There's not much more to it. I'm probably going to have to get more nature runes. I know I've said that already, but I sincerely doubt this is enough nature runes, and it's kind of concerning me. Anyway, let's continue with the smithing. We just got ourselves a genie, and if we look over here, we got 8 XP until 38 Slayer. Let's go ahead and put this on. Get ourselves 38 Slayer, two more levels, or oh, we can now kill Vyas, I mean we can't. Uh, two more levels until we hit 40, and then I've got a nice chunk of 30,000 XP that is going to go straight on that skill and put us all the way to, I think, 45. Uh, we'll have to see when it happens, but I think it is about 45. 
Most importantly, at 44, we will unlock Sulfur Lizards, which is the main point of this goal. Anyway, let's continue with smithing. Uh, we've got a little bit left until we get another level. I will have that within the hour. That's probably the next time I'll see you. And there we are. That is 63 smithing. I am currently at a smithing XP rate per hour of 4.5k. We can now make Shazian Supply Play Bodies 2, which is really good for the Shazian Supply sets that we're going to be making in the future, because that means we can make the Tier 2 sets now, instead of making the Tier 1s, which would have been significantly less XP. However, I will not be doing it until I've finished off all this Mithril Ore anyway, so we've got quite a way to go before we even consider doing Shazian sets. The slow, slow progress continues. Here we are, mining our way through this coal. Um, but I'm making this clip because I'm going to be ending off this episode here. Uh, the prog progress on smithing is going to be very slow. We have made our way through quite a lot of mithril. 720 ore, I believe this is equivalent to, uh, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to slowly be chipping away through this week by week. Uh, I'm going to be doing Sratness in a couple of days, so I might be able to get a little bit more done before we go back to the spider. And hopefully I don't get too much mithril ore, because even though it's helpful, it's really quite annoying that I'm going to have more and more and more smithing to do. Anyway, with that all said, guys, I'm going to end off this episode here. I will see you guys again next time for another episode. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.